guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. It's Monday the 21st of June today. I finished my full time job at about 5 o'clock today. I actually worked 7 till 5 because there was a lot going on. There was a lot of client meetings. That's okay, it doesn't happen very often. I've got a lot going on this week. I don't want to say I'm busy because we're trying not to be busy anymore. We're trying to be productive. If you saw my studio vlog last week, I spoke about trying to be more productive in my business and using my time more effectively. So something that I have done is set up a Google Calendar and blocked out different days for different things. Let me just show you. So this is super loose at the moment, um, but what you can see is all the grey bits are like work, so that's my day job. And then I'm blocking out bits of work for different days because I currently have a lot going on at the moment and I feel a bit overwhelmed so what I'm doing is blocking days out so I am doing Etsy orders only on Mondays and Thursdays rather than doing them as soon as they come in and then I split out my week depending on the different jobs I have going on in my business. If this calendar blocking system all goes to plan then maybe I'll do a little video on it and let you know how I got on with it um etc etc it's already helping. I've just done my Etsy orders, which I put in for 4 till 6.30 because I didn't know how long they'd take. I only had two. It's pretty quiet in the shop, so it is now 5 to 6. And then for the rest of the evening, I have put in Tosh marketing prep. So this coming Saturday and Sunday, I'm taking part in the Beef, which is the Bournemouth Emerging Arts Fringe as part of Tosh, which is a really cool co-working community space down here. And I am doing a watercolor and calligraphy workshop on the Saturday and the Sunday. I've also offered to do the chalkboard A board that is going to sit outside the building just to let people know times of the workshops and what's going on inside. So I think I'm gonna do the A board tonight just to get out of the way. And then a couple of other bits that I need to do so for the workshops i'm creating these little cards so people can see how different colors mix it's a teaser workshop it's not going to be too long and complex so i just want to do a little bit of prep so i can just show people things really easily i'm going to create probably like two or three more of these just so i can put them around the table so people can see them they won't be able to take them home with them but they will be creating some calligraphy prints so that's another thing i need to do i need to design some calligraphy prints that they can then use as like a tracing template to do the watercolor over the top we're gonna see if we can get as much of that done tonight i think realistically it'll probably just be the a board tonight but that is fine that's okay um i am gonna film that for you guys so you can see how i get on with it i think i'm just gonna wing it I haven't done like a design or anything, but I know the content I want to put on. I'm going to do some sort of cool blending thing with some chalk pens and some text. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and then I also have loads of prep to do for my Better Brush Letters challenges that are starting in August, which I'm very excited about, but there's an awful lot to do because I'm basically revamping the whole course and making it way better. So I've got a lot of stuff I need to do this week and yeah I've just got to crack on but this is great doing the calendar blocking because I can see exactly what I need to do for the past few weeks I've just kind of been floating around every day not entirely sure what I'm doing spending too much time on Instagram content and then getting no engagement on Instagram because I don't know what's happening but it's not doing very well at the moment are you having any engagement issues with Instagram at all? I know a couple of people have said they are as well. I guess it's a bit more reassuring when you hear that other people are having the same issue, but also really frustrating as a small business when we've all been working our asses off and now we ain't getting any interaction. So it's six o'clock now. I am really hungry. I think it's better for me to just make some food now because if I start cracking on work, then I'll probably forget to eat and then I'll be absolutely starving and eating dinner at 10 p.m., which is not appropriate the bearded one isn't here tonight so i'm left to fend for myself and cook myself some dinner i will catch you guys in a bit <laughs>
What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. kind of main sign that will go outside of the venue and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I absolutely love how all the colours blended together. I'm just so happy. It's exactly what I imagined. Which doesn't happen very often. These are the pens that I've been using. They're the Artisa Acrylic Markers. I was gifted these by a Tessa Quite a while ago now and I've used these before on a chalkboard and I thought they worked really well. So I'm just going to pack up all of my pens and it's like 10.30 at night so I'm going to call it a night. But I've had a productive day, I got what I wanted done today I think, what was achievable and I'm happy. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Wednesday today. I've just finished work for the day and typically the sun is now shining and all I want to do is go play outside but I've got quite a lot I need to do so according to my calendar blocking schedule I'm meant to be editing a YouTube video tonight however that is quite hard to edit and I haven't even filmed it so basically I want to do a little watercolour lettering tutorial that links to the workshops I'm doing this weekend for Tosh. Uh, I basically want to do like a mini video about that. Um, I was going to do that last night when I was doing the Tosh prep stuff 
but I ended up just spending all evening doing that chalkboard which is sat over there right now and I am still so happy with how it turned out. I love how all the colours blend together. It makes me super happy. So today I am going to be finalising all the prep stuff for this weekend so I can just chill out about it for the rest of the week. I need to create some templates which has calligraphy quotes on. Now I need to do the calligraphy quote templates first and then I also wanted to bring some examples to the workshop where I've used different colours and different blends to create the artwork so people will get a choice of what quote they want to use and then they can choose what colours as well. So today that is what I'm going to be doing as part of it and in a way to try and use my time more productively I'm going to film the YouTube video which I was meant to edit today so basically I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on creating these art pieces which I'm going to be doing anyway tonight so it all kind of fits in quite nicely and then I also thought about maybe going on Instagram live later and doing another one of them because I've got to do well I think I'm going to do three different designs so people have a little bit of choice but it's not too overwhelming and I thought maybe going on Instagram live might help some engagement because it's just really bad at the moment and I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing wrong hopefully people will enjoy a little live though I might even do a live on TikTok as well but we'll see about that I feel like TikTok is a very different audience and People on comment on there and very different kind of people so we will see how it goes. I'm wearing my new Yay Makers t-shirt. How cute is this? It says hug me. spoken to earlier I have had a very productive evening doing these so I've prepped all of these as examples for my workshops on Saturday and Sunday so just to give people a little bit of inspiration for what they could create it is quarter past nine and I am absolutely pooped I my workspace is a little bit of a mess but I'm not actually working here tomorrow for my day job I'm going to a co-working space so I'm going to be lazy and leave my space in a mess the future Millie is going to be really grumpy about that but I am tired and I want to go lie down I've been awake since 4 30. hello you lovelies it is Wednesday today and it's 6 30 I've just realized that Emily Harvey Art has a Patreon call, so I'm gonna quickly jump on that when I finish talking to you guys. But I just want to say hello. Um, we worked at an office today. We went to a co-working office, so I worked nine till 5.30, which is why I'm hopping on here a little bit later than normal. Um, but it was so nice because I walked, I did a long walk to the co-working space which took me down some beautiful gardens and then along Bournemouth seafront and it was so nice to like just walk down there in the morning I just it just made me so happy and I can't wait for a day when I eventually become fully self-employed and on a beautiful day like this I can just decide that I'm gonna take a morning easy and walk down to the beach maybe go for a swim and it just got me so excited I just 
yeah, I can't wait for that moment. So I didn't get home until about six. I'm just, sorry, that was my phone. I've just eaten some dinner. Well, I've just finished the ink dinner. I'm gonna hop on this patron call with Emily Harvey Art. And I think while that's happening, I'm gonna tidy this space a little bit. I'm now annoyed with past Millie for not tidying last night. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. this which oh my god I'm obsessed with it looks so cute I'm gonna do one little change here I'm going to I think I'm gonna redraw this text but a slightly lighter width of pen I did that in procreate and I just feel like it's a little bit too thick so you can't really read what this says especially where the b and the a is it's a bit crammed up hi guys it is Thursday today and I've just had my lunch break. I have had the camera set up like this because I was doing the intro and outro to a YouTube tutorial that I filmed the other day. And I've just spotted that I have an exciting thing in the post. These are the holographic stickers for my Kickstarter. And I'm so excited. So let's open them. Oh. That has turned out very dark. They look beautiful, but the dark blue has turned out really dark, and I have no idea why. Hmm. So the shine is amazing. Actually, on camera, it looks much better. But it doesn't look like that. So annoying. Also, there's a gardener in the garden, and he just definitely saw me talking to a camera, so that's really embarrassing. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, we'll worry about that later. I have to get back to work, so I'll try you guys in a bit. Hi, guys. I have just finished work for the day, um, and I basically decided to sort through all of the stickers that I got. I just wanted to make sure that I'd been sent enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I just checked out um, how many I ordered. Because basically, before I go and complain to them about the print quality, I just wanted to make sure they'd sent me the correct amount as well. They have actually sent me 110, and I only ordered 100. So they have sent extras, however, Basically, I have looked through this and I thought that all of it had misprinted, basically. I don't know if you can see, but on a lot of them, it's really stripy. And actually, this looks quite blue in camera, but it's basically black, the colour, and it should be a dark blue. So I figured it was just a really bad quality company and perhaps I should have got some samples and I was an idiot for not doing that um, but it just seems really weird like it didn't look right at all but when I was counting them up I realized that some of them actually look quite good and they obviously clearly have had a printer issue and then just sent me the stickers anyway so if we compare so this one here is the misprint and then this one is nicer so if we get in closer, can you see that there's all these stripes on this one? And it's just made it look a lot, a lot darker. It doesn't, you can't see the change of colour in the camera. But this one's a much clearer print. And another thing that I noticed is the yaw 
on this one is like really messy and not very uh, crisp whereas the Yore on these ones are more crisp and more white and the colour on the ones that are printed properly actually match a little bit better to the prints that I've had done. So if you look here you can see this is a little bit darker than the print but I appreciate that it's potentially because it's on holographic paper they're from different printers it's going to be impossible to get the colours to match exactly and I expected that However, can you see how much darker this one looks? It looks more black and you can see all the stripes and just the quality is not as good. So that's basically confirmed to me that there's a print error and that they need to resolve this. Um, so I'm gonna email them. I'm just really frustrated because uh, the company I picked is called Sticker It. And the reason I picked them is because they're UK based and I really want to try and minimize the amount of products I order from abroad because I just want to minimize like CO2 emissions in terms of shipping and things like that so it's a bit frustrating that I've purposely done that to kind of reduce CO2 emissions and now I've got loads of stickers that I don't even know if I want to sell them as seconds like they just don't look good at all i guess i could put them in as freebies in packages but i'm a bit frustrated because i wanted these to be like completely exclusive to people who've supported my kickstarter so i don't really want to like give out free stickers to other people but um i'll have a think about that but i am happy with how the good ones have turned out so i'm going to email them now so i counted all of them up they're in powers of 10 and basically all of these are misprints there's only 30 that have come out fine so yeah that's a bit frustrating and I was gonna say you should always get a sample done but actually even if I had got a sample done and it was printed perfectly then this still could have happened so hopefully they will be able to fix it for me I'll definitely keep you guys updated um, and yeah I like I haven't lost faith in them yet but um, We'll see how it goes. Um, so tonight I it is Etsy day. So I've put Etsy orders down for Mondays and Thursdays now. I only have one Etsy order. And actually, I'm thinking of turning off my Etsy shop this weekend. Because I'm away very soon. And I want to get ready for being away. I've got a lot that I need to do in terms of work. And although Etsy isn't busy at the moment, whenever I have like an order or two, it just takes up like an awkward amount of time. And there's no like big celebrations coming up soon or anything. So I'm tempted just to close it for two weeks, just to give myself a bit of breathing space because it ain't making me much money at the moment anyway. Morning guys. Oh, let me just turn off music. It is Saturday today and I am just running around, oh, that is glowy, I'm just running around like a headless chicken because I have my watercolour calligraphy workshops today and tomorrow. I'm really excited but I'm just doing some last minute prep. I'm just packing a little box of everything that I need to take with me. I'm going to take some brush pens as well and I can just chat a little bit about calligraphy in general. I'm not really teaching calligraphy, it's more like watercolour blending that we're going to go through. Oh, and I thought I'd show you this. My desk is very messy. So I bought myself a new tripod. This is a Manfrotto, I think that's how you say it, tripod. It feels super durable. This is the packet it came in. And basically, I've been meaning to get a new tripod for ages because I've been really frustrated with my old one. Uh, this was quite pricey. I think it was like 25 quid, but I've heard a lot of good things about it And it just feels super sturdy and super stable The issue I was having with this one is although it's quite cool that the legs can bend and you can clamp it onto things It was always just really wonky and like it started to like slide and move around and then the other issue is this screw here has become loose so when I try and screw the camera on it's just always constantly screwing and it it doesn't stay still I've tried to tighten it with a screwdriver and that just won't work I'll probably keep hold of this as a just-in-case but this is the 
tripod I'm going to be using today. So let's put that in there. I just thought I'd print out some stickers that I could like give to people. So I need to put them in here as well. I've realised I don't really have any like business cards or anything. I probably should have thought that through. I might adapt these pin badge cards just so it's kind of cute and colourful. <coughs> oh, just so they're cute and colourful with like these dots and stuff on and print them off. It is day two of the Tosh Market and workshops. Yesterday I had five lovely people in my workshop, six booked on, one person didn't turn up. But it was a really good workshop, it was so lovely to teach in person again. And I think I've got eight people today, which is exciting. I have just spent the morning editing a YouTube video, which is going up today, which is a watercolour tutorial video. So basically the workshops I've been doing today I thought I'd do a YouTube tutorial video as well for people who aren't local to the area. So that is going up today. This vlog is going to go up a week later than normal just because I ain't had time to edit it or anything. Uh, just got everything ready and I'm going to go off to Tosh now and I'll take you along with me. letter going your pressure <laughs> hi guys ignore the crazy hair it's actually been a whole week since I spoke to you for this vlog I completely forgot to sign off the vlog and I've just finished editing it so I thought I'd come on and say hello uh, thank you so much for watching this week I've edited it and it seemed like I did an awful lot in that week. But yeah, it was a really good week. It was so much fun to do in-person workshops. I also thought I'd quickly update you on the sticker situation. I do update you in the next vlog, but I just thought I'd let you know now that the company sticker it were absolutely incredible. They got back to me straight away. They reprinted the stickers and they are perfect now. So I think it was just a human error. Like these things happen sometimes, but I was so super, super happy with it and I show you them in the next vlog. Next vlog is all about me packing Kickstarter orders, which I'm excited about. But I am just going to say bye. I'm just gonna say bye now. If you watch till the end, leave a little paintbrush emoji to celebrate being able to do in-person workshops again. It was so much fun. Anyway, I need to put this into the video so I can export it and get it up for you guys to watch. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend, day, whatever day it is you're watching this on, and I'll catch you very soon. Bye! <laughs>